Good evening and welcome to Poco Poco News. Tonight on MRI TV Live, I'm Kayaga Rito, and here are the top stories making headlines tonight. Kidnap fears follow deadly South Sudan mass attack. Iran's Kimei assists Hezbollah with survived Lebanon bombardment. Mapping 10,000 cross border attacks between Israel and Lebanon. Lebanese Hezbollah fires missile at Mozad HQ near Israel's Tel Aviv. Attack by Al Qaeda linked group in Mali killed more than 700 people. And here are the news in details. Kidnap fears for loaded South Sudan bus attack. A long distance bus has, has come under attack by gunmen in South Sudan. The army has blamed the rebel National Salvation Front, which, is, which has not commented. And our news reporter has more details on that. Kidnap fares follow a deadly South Sudan bus attack. A long distance bus has come under attack by gunmen in South Sudan on a main road south of the capital, Juba, leaving at least one person dead and several others fired kidnapped. The army says the passenger vehicle heading for the Ugandan capital, Kampala, was targeted on Tuesday morning. Despite a peace deal being in place to end years of civil war in South Sudan, insecurity remains rife in many parts of the country. The army spokesman, Major General Lul Ruai Koang, told us that one person, a Ugandan man, had been killed and eight wounded. We would like to start by passing our condolences to the victim of the road attack this morning. And we learned that uh, that was a national from uh, Sisterly Republic of Uganda. Uh, in the morning at around 8.30 to 9, uh, a bus, a Babito bus that was traveling from Juba to Nimli was ambushed uh, near Kubi, uh, Jabalain area. In that ambush, uh, one person was killed and eight people were injured, including seven civilians and one serviceman from National Security Service. We have registered uh, between seven to fourteen passengers that have gone missing or strongly believed to have been abducted uh, by the attackers. Our security forces were the first to respond. They rushed to the scene and they discovered that uh, the bus was set a place. And by the time they were arriving, they arrived, it was still on fire and burning. They even took videos of the bus when it was burning. Uh, they followed uh, the footprints of the attackers. They pursued them and they ran towards Lobanok. I am of uh, Juba County. In August 2020, 11 passengers, South Sudanese and Ugandans, were killed and several others wounded when their vehicle was ambushed by unidentified armed men. A year earlier, two South Sudanese Catholic nuns were killed along the same highway as they were traveling back to Juba. Israel's Kimei assist Hezbollah will survive Lebanon bombardment. Armed Schenge group hunt by loss of top commanders but will not be brought to its need, the Supreme Leader states. And our news reporter has more on that. Ayatollah Al Khamenei insists that Lebanon is Hezbollah still stands strong despite losing some of its top commanders to Israel strikes. Speaking at a meeting with military personnel on Wednesday, as Israel bombardment targeting the Shia armed group continue for the third straight day. Iranian stream leader say that while Hezbollah has been weakened, it will survive. Some of the effective and valuable forces of Hezbollah were murdered, undoubtedly caused damage to Hezbollah, but this was not the sort of damage that could bring the group to its knees, said Khamenei. Mapping 10,000 cross-border attacks between Israel and Lebanon. Israel Hezbollah and other Lebanese groups have extended more than 10,200 attacks between October 7, 2023 and September 20, 2024. And Saha, our reporter, has more on that. 
mapping 10,000 cross-border attacks between Israel and Lebanon. Israel, Hezbollah and other Lebanese groups have exchanged more than 10,200 attacks between October 7, 2023 and September 20, 2024. The latest escalation between Hezbollah and Israel, more than 569 people, including 50 children and 94 women, have been killed in Israeli airstrikes across Lebanon since September 23. In retaliation, Hezbollah launched rocket attacks into to Israel with some projectiles directed at Israeli air bases. My name is Hezbollah, fires missile at Mosul HQ near Israel, Tel Aviv. Israel's army says it was the first time an attack from Lebanon reached central Israel as cross-border hostilities continue. An hour news reporter, Sefe Waheski, has monitored. Hezbollah has fired a ballistic missile targeting Mossadi's headquarters near Tel Aviv. The Lebanon group say warning sirens sounded in Tel Aviv on Wednesday as surface-to-surface -surface missile was intercepted by Israel air defense systems after it was detected crossing from Lebanon, the Israel military said. Hezbollah said that the building targeted was where the Israeli intelligence agency planned the recent attacks using pagers and other wireless devices. A launch came amid Israel's bombardment of Lebanon. Attack by Al Qaeda links group in Mali killed more than 700 people. This attack on the police training academy and near a nearby airport is one of the worst unrest which began more than a decade ago. And our reporter has more on that. Attack by Al-Qaeda linked group in Mali killed more than 70 people. More than 70 people are thought to have been killed in an attack by Al-Qaeda linked group on Mali's capital Bamako earlier this week, according to diplomatic and security sources. Handline fighters from Jamaz at Nusrat Al-Islam or Al-Muslimen GNIM carried out an attack on an elite police training academy and the nearby airport on Tuesday, prompting shock and anger in the West African country. A security source speaking on conditions of anonymity told the AFP news agency that 77 had been killed and that 255 injured in the attack. Two diplomats serving in the region, including one based in Bamako, told the Reuters news agency that the death toll was believed to be in 70s. The attack undermines claims for the military, which seized power in a coup in 2021, to have stabilized the situation after the departure of the French troops and turning to Russia for security. Mali's military rules have acknowledged some losses. The GNI claimed that a few dozen of its fighters are killed and wounded. Hundreds from the opposing ranks, including members of Russia machinery group manager. There was widespread international condemnation, including from United Nations Security General Antonia Guterres, neighboring Senegal, African Union Commission Chairman Moussa Faki Mohamed, and the embassies of France and United Kingdom. I remain Kayagan Rocho, news reporter, MRI. Thank you for watching MRI TV. Stay tuned. Thank you.